Let's talk about waveform free for absolute beginners. I'm going to take you through all of the setup, right from the beginning, from the very initial time that you open the DAW until you record a track or add a MIDI device and right through to the mixing stage. So the first thing you'll notice here is in audio devices down here. It's also in settings, so you can find it there. You can find that in audio devices. And I've got Linux, so Jack is the one that I want. If you're on Windows, you'll want ASIO. If you're on Mac, there's another one, but it's the, the main one for the Mac machine. It's easy to find. A Mac nearly sets up itself. So, Jack. I'll put it back to Alsa for a second, and then back to Jack. And we'll see how that works. Output. I've got different choices of output here, but I'm choosing system. Input. System. Test. So you test it. You can hear that that's coming through. Input. We've got system input. The other thing is you may have some sort of MIDI device like this. And you want to make sure that that's connected. That's your MIDI devices. And here we've got complete control, M32 MIDI 1. Inputs and outputs on. And that's that done. Next thing. There's lots more settings that you can do in here, but they're for exploration another day. Now, so you hit the plus arrow up here. New project. Type in your project name. I tend to leave no gaps in my project names because it's easier when I'm searching for them later on the computer. And then create project. You can choose a template as well if you wanted to. I would usually go with default and I set them up myself, but it's handy that they're there. Now, I just created this one a minute ago and uh, let's work with this one. This is pretty much exactly as you'd have it. One thing that wouldn't be set up already though is the bit over here. What's coming through your MIDI device. So I'm going to have complete control on these. So that's on Capture 3. So that's picked up that I'm talking through here and you can see that that's happening there. These, the tracks in here, you can put audio or MIDI on them. So we'll keep complete control on that one. Let's put Capture 4 on there. And that's this mic here. The next thing we want to do is set up over here. Add plugin to left. And this is where all your plugins will be. And you can see that I've got quite a lot of them, but we're just going to focus on the waveform ones today. Um, they're all in your settings, by the way. So if you go into plugins, you can see where all the locations are. File locations is where the locations are. And you can add different paths if you've got other places in your computer that you've got VSTs and stuff. So that's really good. So I'll add a plugin to the left. Add instruments, for ask, and this is it. And so you can check check the audio on this side as well. Default audio output. And over here, you can choose all sorts of stuff. So here, check this out. Fretless bass. Then if we right click over on this side, insert new MIDI clip, and it gives us this. If we double click that, it gives us this space down here. And click on the pen tool down here. And bring it down an octave or two. Shift control and O brings it down an octave. And the mouse scroll wheel brings the screen down. Nicely that it's written on there. I hold control and raise the mouse wheel. It makes it bigger, so it's easier to see. That's all the way down on E2. Let's try that. That sounds nice, actually. Now, next thing is up here. If we hover the, the mouse around there, you can see the line that goes up and down. And if we press O, that makes an out point for our loop. And then we press L, and that makes a loop. That's our first instrument done. Let's make some drums. Plug into left. Waveform. Instruments. Micro drum sampler. And up here we can click Micro 808. These are all drums. So now this time, instead of a MIDI clip, we'll put in a step clip. And these are different a little bit because of how they function. Place a kick in there.
you can use a MIDI clip on drums and you can use a step clip on MIDI instruments as well. something totally different. Click in here. Note every two beats. So I can every four beats. You can move them over. here anytime. Let's see what's going on here. This thing here is what gives you that. When you click on there and then move anything, it'll change anything. So let's see, get something that makes an actual obvious change. Okay, so let's make that tuning. Huh. Move it up one from that. It's not a very 
pleasant sound. Uh, level you could do either. See, two isn't used. Okay, let's make another one here. So we can make something totally different. Let's do um, something on level. Click that off again when it's not flashing. It's off. So let's do two. Hit this one. Let's affect the level. this level turn this off then change the rate you could use LFO1 to change the rate of LFO2 I'd say yep I'll do another video very soon about the 4 ask and about how to make it work and how to do some sound design within it. But for now, so many presets that you can play with. Next, let's record some guitar and do it in Capture One. This is just guitar straight in, by the way. The video soon. We look at how to record guitars in different ways. There's different ways where you can come direct out of an amp, depending on what amp you've got, or you can mic up an amp, or you can, you know, you can use DI pedals and stuff. When I'm recording on a loop, what's going to happen is it's going to just keep recording, keep cycling back to the start of the loop, and it's not going to overdub it. It's going to add them all together. It's going to put one in after the other. It's going to silence each one in turn. So we just hit record down here. Once we record armed it up here, we can hit record here. I feel like the guitar might be clipping. When the signal gets too hot for the for the system. So let's just turn that down a bit and we'll, we'll try it again on a different channel and we might mix up a few different ideas together in a minute. Like this capture one, that's what it is on my audio interface. And we'll record our hit W it goes back to the start of your track. Bring the mouse wheel over that area and scrolling it up makes it bigger. So this here show takes. Let's get rid of this fella down here. Let's get this one about the size that we can see everything at once. So holding control and scrolling the wheel.
that clipping is okay. It sounds pretty good. I can use that. It seems to have clipped musically, and I think that might be to do with my audio interface. I haven't really used it a whole lot for this kind of direct guitar in business, but it sounds pretty good. Your mouse scroll wheel does different things depending on where you are on the page. When you're over here, the far left or the far right, holding control, it expands or contracts depending on whether you go up or down. And when you're here, holding control and up and down, does that for you. It expands the track outwards. But when you're over here and you, and you go up or down, it scrolls your whole system up or down. You can't see that right now. If I hold control and do that, expand it a bit then you'll see what happens and now without control and i do that and it brings you up or, up or down but i bring this over here and it contracts and expands like that and as you can see here as well these things become visible and usable when they're expanded as well you can also drag individual ones like this so that becomes kind of useful sometimes and the midi one does the same you can see all of that. The white notes are represented by the light red and the black notes are represented by the darker ones. Next thing we want to do is record some vocals. So, W, capture three. This is the thing about waveform free. You can do it again and you can do it again and you can do it again until you get it right. Something about the rhythm I didn't like right there. Sometimes the rhythm is wrong. Sometimes the rhythm is right. Sometimes you want something else. I check this out. Show takes. Let's bring up the gain a bit here. It takes. So down here, this arrow here on the left hand side brings it up like this. So now when I click it here on any of these tracks, it gives me different properties. So this is on track six here. Loop properties, gain, and audio clip there, the gain. And we can bring that up and we can see the gain increasing here. So if we make this bigger. So there you go. So you can use that in a whole song as well. Like if you're singing a song and you want to do it verse by verse or something, you can loop the whole verse in waveform free. And then you can sing the verse over and over again. One line of it might be great from one take and another line of it might be great from another take or there might be one word that you just got wrong or you breathed at the wrong time or something like that and you can just clip it out. And this is called comping. It's kind of an advanced technique but it's cool so I thought I should show it to you here. By advanced it's just like the knowledge of its existence is advanced but it's not very advanced to use. It's pretty straightforward to use especially in waveform and I think this is amazing that th this is free like this. This is in a free DAW. That's just mind-blowing. Sometimes you want something wrong. Sometimes you want something right. Sometimes you want something else. Oh, there's another synth I think you'd like to see. So let's put um, complete control into here. Now, I'm pretty sure they're removing this synth in waveform 12, but I hope it makes a comeback in some way because there's something kind of cool about it too. This FM synth here. So check out all of those. There's plenty of presets there for you to play with as well. <laughs> So you can record stuff straight in actually. Sometimes you want something else. 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 Next time I'm gonna show you something. Get waveform to do an awful lot of extra work for you and to get it to some cool stuff that other dolls just don't do. Stuff like having arpeggios play by themselves, audition different types of arpeggio for you, where it does different stuff, or can all sorts of ways change it. You get to choose a lot of the stuff that it does, but it, it'll write melodies for you, it'll add bass lines for you, and you can collage them together. You can change all the details. We'll also look at the effects, and we'll look at the LFOs within the system, like this. <laughs> 